Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to monitor your, monitor your AWS EC2 instance using CloudWatch. So basically in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to monitor CPU utilization of your AWS EC2 instances using CloudWatch. All right, so to get started, so let us go ahead and create a brand new EC2 instance. Let me click on EC2. So it takes me to the EC2 console. So if you see right now, I do not have any instances running. So let me go ahead and launch a new EC2 instance. I'll just say CloudWatch demo or test. All right. So let me copy the same thing. If in case I want, I can use it somewhere else. I'll go with Amazon Linux as of now, the AMI. I'm selecting Amazon Linux and instance type. I'm good with t2.micro. Key pair, if you have created the key pair already, go ahead and select that. But if you do not have, go ahead and create a new key pair. So networking, if you want to make some changes, if you want to keep it in your default subnet and default VPC, go ahead and do that. But if you are using your own, you can also do that. Let me go with my default VPC as of now. Security group, I'm already having a security group. I'll select the same thing, Linux SG. Basically, it is allowing only SSH traffic from ev everywhere, okay? So the next thing is storage. So by default, as a root volume, I'm getting eight gigs of storage and I'm okay with that. The next thing that we need to configure is advanced section. Sorry. Uh, needs to be minimum of eight right so advanced let me open that here so you need to configure one thing um, the thing is you can go ahead and select the detailed cloud watch monitoring so if you want you can enable this one it is optional but this come with additional charges so if you see here additional charges apply so not a uh, not a big deal so the charges are still minimum but if you want you can try out if you do not want you can leave that e even then it will work all right so select that one and what else do we need so i guess that is it okay so let me go ahead and click on launch instance Okay, so that will, this will take a couple of minutes. All right, so we got the first message saying successfully initiated the instance. Okay, let's go ahead and click on view all instances. So it will take a couple of more minutes to get the instance up and running. All right, now if you see my instance is up and running and the status check is also passed and also verify one more thing that you have enabled the detailed monitoring so under monitoring it should be enabled if it is disabled that means your uh, detailed monitoring is off okay so it is not mandatory but you can try that also okay so the next thing is to monitor cpu utilization of this particular ec2 instance with a cloud watch so to do that let us go to cloud watch so let me type in cloud watch so so you can directly search for cloud watch and you can open that in the new tab also okay so we are in CloudWatch right now. So this is the CloudWatch dashboard. Basically, this is how it looks. Okay. So now we are interested in creating CPU utilization for this particular EC2 instance. To do that, go to CloudWatch again. Under all metrics, select all metrics here. You need to browse the namespaces so if you do not know what is namespaces what are metrics what are dimensions and all so i have created a separate theory video where i have explained everything in a simply understandable way you can go there and check that out okay so cpu utilization will come under namespace aws ec2 right so this is the namespace we have if you see aws ec2 so the, under this let's go inside there and 
we also saw there that uh, many EC2 instances will be sending this utilization to CloudWatch. But how to get that? We need to select dimensions, right? So what is the dimension that we are looking is instance. So uh, dimension is name instance ID and the value will be your uh, value of the instance ID that you ha already have, right? So let me select this per instance metrics. Under this, you will have the CPU utilization, uh, memory utilization, everything or whatever the EC2 instances that you have configured so far, the details of all the EC2 instances will be available here. So to search in the better way, so I in my account, I'm running many EC2 instances. So in other regions and all. So uh, it is uh, you know appearing here. Not I mean in North Virginia, I am running way too many servers. So I'm getting all the details about this. But if you see the name specified or no name specified, as in I've already deleted or terminated those instances. So if you just want to configure it for your running instances, go get your instance ID here. So let me grab my EC2 instance ID. This is the EC2 instance that I've selected and let us search for that EC2 instance. Now, if you see, we have many options here. So if you see our name is CloudWatch, the name of the EC2 instance is CloudWatch test, right? So this is the instance ID ending with D9B. So D9B, right? So just making sure that we are at the right place. Now we are interested in checking or monitoring the CPU utilization. So let me search for CPU utilization here. So if you see, this is the CPU utilization, select that one, right? So if you see, if the data is already getting collected, it will be here. So if you see CPU utilization is 0.08, which is not so high, right? So this is how, you know, you need to get your CPU utilization metric, all right? Now, if you want to create an alarm or if you want to inform someone that your utilization is shooting up or if the threshold is going high, you can do that in the alarm section. So this is where you can look into the metrics, right? So, but if you want to create an alarm, you can do that also. Okay, so let's go back to our CloudWatch dashboard here. And if you see under alarms, you have alarms, all alarms. So go to that. And here, if you see, there are zero alarms as of now. So let us create a new one. Let me click on create new. And here, if you see the first thing it is asking us is to select a metric. So we are interested in CPU utilization metric. We need to select that. Okay. So let's select this one. And here also same thing. You you've already seen how this works. So let me go quickly per instance metrics and here I just need to paste my EC2 instance ID. Let me copy it again and paste it here. Okay, let me hit enter and I need to select CPU utilization. So where is CPU utilization? Here it is, right? So it went quick. Okay, let me select this one. So that is CPU utilization as you can see there, right? CPU utilization, I'm selecting this metric and if you see that metric got selected cpu utilization the instance id and whether it is a static average or sum or maximum basically it will calculate the average cpu utilization and send at every five minutes but if you want to decrease that to 10 seconds or 31 minute you can do that all right so i'll go and select one minute to just for the demonstration you can set the threshold type basically. So if you want a static or you can also go with the anomaly detection static as in you will set a, you know, particular range or particular value. For example, let's say the utilization should be below 90%. So if it is more than that alarm or get this CPU utilization to alarm state, right? So that is static. But if in alarm anomaly detection, you will define a band for the threshold. Okay. So now we can select a number here or whenever the CPU utilization is greater than or equal to greater than less than or equal to less less than you can select like that. But now I'll go with greater than equal to and what is the value? I'll just say for this demonstration, I'll go with 20 or I'll also go with 15. 
as this is a demonstration i cannot you know shoot uh, more than 90 percent right so i'll i'll use some tools to demonstrate so i'll go with 15 percent okay so that is it next let me go and click on next notification as i already told you you can notify some people uh, in the uh, you know account manager or something so if the threshold is more than if the utilization is more than threshold you can you know email your particular member okay so if you want you can configure that or you can also remove it let me remove it so you can also go with the auto scaling option let's say if the utilization is more than 90% go ahead and add one more ec2 instance you can do that right so you can do that here but i'm not interested in all of them we will have a detailed demonstration on all, each of these in the future but as of now as we are trying to understand cloudwatch will go and configure it as of now okay so i'll go ahead and click on next and what is the alarm name that you want to give so i'll just say cpu utilization and I'll also give append my EC2 instance ID. So just in case if, if I create any alarm for other also other EC2 instances, I would be able to, you know, filter out based on the instance ID because I'm appending the instance ID here, right? So let me click on next. So this will give you just a summary of what and all you have selected. If you're okay with this, you can go ahead and create it or else if you want to change anything, you can always go back and edit it. Okay, so let, I'm good with it. So I'll go ahead and click on create alarm. Now, if you see, as, as I just created, the state is insufficient data. That means the CPU utilization data is still getting transferred to your CloudWatch. It will take some time to go and, and say, to be in okay state so i already discussed about these things in the uh, you know uh, theory part so in uh, cpu utilization alarms or any alarms for that matter we have two state one is okay state and the other one is in alarm state okay state means everything is working fine you need not take any action but in alarm state means there is something wrong or the utilization is more so in uh, when you want um, the CPU utilization is in alarm state, you can always go ahead and uh, inform someone that utilization is more than the threshold that you have set, right? You can make use of SES service, simple email service, or you can also make use of SNS, right? So right now it is in sufficient insufficient state. Uh, click on uh, refresh, keep on refreshing until the state changes to OK or in alarm state. So if the utilization shooted up more than 15% uh, that we have set, it will be in alarm state. But uh, as we have just started, it will be less than 15% uh, is what I am guessing, right? Okay, so now if you see my alarm is in OK state, that means everything is fine, right? So that means the utilization is less than 15%. So now what, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, you know, increase the utilization, CPU utilization by installing an application called Stress okay so let me log into this ec2 instance using instance connect method so let me go there and quickly connect to this ec2 instance so don't worry so i will give you all the commands to test out if the uh, how this is cpu utilization is working at all so just concentrate what i'm trying to say okay so now if you see i'm inside my ec2 instance so first let me go ahead and install an external uh, package called uh, to install all of the dependencies that we want right so this is where exactly our uh, stress file is located right so i'll go ahead and first run this one so let me run that so it will go ahead and install the package next we need to install the stress so if you see all these things are updated and downloaded now i just need to uh, you know install the stress so what i'm trying to do is i'm manually trying to increase the cpu utilization by installing stress on it right so let me run it so it is just downloading the stress till now it, it just downloaded the stress application 
now i need to increase the stress okay so to do that let's take the help of stress hyphen hyphen help so let me run that now so if you see this is how uh, we can use stress so if you see this is um, you know showing us le let us do the same thing stress okay hyphen hyphen cpu and what is the uh, value that you want to give so basically eight means the number of virtual cpus so in my case i have used a um, t2.micro where you will get you know one virtual cpus so i'm going with that and i also need to mention the timeout i'll uh, mention it as time out and i'll give the value as um, let's say 3600 seconds okay let me hit enter okay so the command is not found so maybe i just uh, uh, need not give this yes here let me try that okay so that i'm using the long form there but i'm just going with a short form here so this is what uh, the command is stress hyphen c that means so the cpu cores or the C virtual cpus i'm going with one and hyphen t is the timeout uh, in 3600 so let me run this command quickly it is trying to increase it so if you see now see the alarm is the the alarm that we just created is changed to in alarm state that means the utilization is shooted up so let's go ahead and see what is the util current utilization so if you just want to see go into view metrics so it, this will give you a detailed view of your cpu utilization metric right so if you see this is the threshold that we have set 15 right so if you see this is the blue color line is indicating the our current utilization if you see our current utilization is more than 20 25 so it is more than 15 right so the value 25 is more than 15 so that is why our utilization is in alarm state right so the our alarm is in alarm state so this is how you can create cpu utilization alarm for a particular ec2 instance using aws console okay so that's it for today's video so i will be dropping all the commands that i used for this demonstration in the description box below please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends thank you